Hello everyone, I've got yet another post bag video for you. I uh, wasn't expecting to do this one so quick, but the Chinese postman uh, seems to be on the ball at the moment and I've got a load of stuff that's come through. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go take a look at them. As always, I'll go through them, explain what they are, what I'm going to be using them for. Uh, I'll put a link to the item in the description below. Uh, and where possible, that will be an affiliate link. So if you click on that, and you purchase anything from AliExpress, I will get a tiny little kickback, uh, and that'll be great. That'll help the channel grow. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look. Let's just move these and get started. Uh, this is an adapter. It should be twelve. Yep, it is a. 12 volt 500 milliamp adapter. This is actually for my uh, uh, Nixie tube uh, clock. I've currently got a 12 volt 1 amp uh, adapter, uh, but the spec for it says a 500 milliamp, and I'd prefer to use my 1 amp for a bit beefier projects. So this was uh, just something I needed. Uh, dirt cheap, I think it's two, three pounds maybe. I'll test it in a bit. Next, very heavy. Uh -huh. Key rings, should be 100 key rings. Uh, this is actually for my 3D hubs orders. Um, if you order a plastic part from me on 3D hubs and you're a new customer, you get a free gift something that attaches to it, it's not an actual ring ball. That would be rubbish. Okay. We've got here. Okay. Right, so I know what these are. These are bicolor three millimeter LEDs. Uh, they are red and green and red and blue um, and they are common anode and common cathode um, I wanted to get both types initially I was going to get the red and green but then I spotted the red and blue and I think they're all about a pound each so they're really cheap um, I've got an idea for it's my 80 tiny 85 single key uh, keypad um, with a Cherry MX key, you can actually put a 3mm LED to illuminate it. However, I wanted a bit more feedback, so I thought a dual colour. Uh, however, on inspection of the Cherry MX, uh, you, if you've ever seen those, there's only space for a single colour 3mm LED. So I think I have to do a bit of hacking or chopping up. But yeah, anyhow, if it doesn't fit, it's still pretty cool to have all these 3mm uh, dual colour or bicolor LEDs. What is this? It is a cable adapter. Oh yeah, very handy. This is a USB to 5.5, 2.1 power adapter. Uh, so you plug this end into a USB power socket uh, and this will go into your projects that require a 5.5 2.1 uh, power connector. I've actually got this for some of those um, marquee letter light boxes that seem to be popping up everywhere. It takes six double A's which is quite a lot to use up or it takes a five volt supply but it's not a USB connection it's one of these so I was going to get an adapter similar to that, but I spotted these and I thought, well, I've got loads of spare wall adapters. I'll just grab one of these. Very handy. And the final one. It's quite heavy. There's a few items. Ooh. Very cool. Uh, what have we got?
This is a LCD panel um, for an Arduino. It's an Arduino shield and it gives you a 1602 character display. Uh, you have the uh, trim pot to adjust the contrast and you've also got some buttons that you can um, map to the GPIOs. And you, they've got them on the silk screen. I select left, up, down, right and reset. Don't know if that's reset for the actual board or not. Uh, but the idea for this is uh, it's just for projects where you need an LCD layout and some user control. Uh, and it's a shield that goes straight onto an Arduino. Uh, like I've got one. It is a bog standard cheapo Arduino. I don't actually think it works anymore. It's not in use. Goes in. And you've got yourself an Arduino that can use character display and some user inputs. Bish bash bosh. Very handy. I haven't actually got immediate use for this, but I've seen some 3D printed cases that have this completely encased, and I just thought it'd be useful to, if I ever needed it, you know what. I've got it. I think it was like two pounds, something like that. Really cheap. And this, very excited. One of a few of these. Um, these are NeoPixel LED matrices. Matrices, matrices. Is that a word? Uh, this is an eight by eight, sixty-four LED um, grid. Uh, it's on a thick back, some of these are rubbery, but this is an actual uh, thick PCB. Uh, and you would basically wire it up. You've got data in, 5 volt ground, and there's data out as well. Uh, and yeah, I think the it goes up and down like a strip of NeoPixels, but it's in a grid fashion. So you can do uh, panel displays, you can do readouts. Um, yeah, very cool, very useful. I actually want a 16 by 16 and an 8 by 32, <laughs> but they're a bit more expensive. And this was about five pounds, so it's really cool, really good. Um, like I said, a lot of them are soft, um, soft backing, but this is actual stiff PCB. Uh, quite excited to use this. I'm going to make like a like a, just a display or something like that. Who knows? And this little character, if we can see this, this is actually a SOP8 to DIP8 uh, programmer or programming aid. Uh, so what is this used for? Uh, if you've got some 8-pin SOP chips, which are like SMD, sole surface mount uh, microcontrollers, like the AT Tiny 85, uh, and you need to program it before you embed it on a project uh, you would use this to actually connect it to a breadboard using the 8 pin dip sockets which should fit nicely into a breadboard you would hope um, you can program the eight, for example an AT Tiny 85 on an SMD uh, circuit board you can assign uh, programming pins and you can connect uh, various programming connectors or if you're just going to program the chip because it's going to be embedded and used once uh, not to be touched again you would essentially plug it into here program it and then take it out and solder it on the board um, see if we can get this working and uh, the idea is kind of spring-loaded and on top of there, if you pull the pin back and forward, it opens these jaws. Rawr. Now, I have a SOP8 package AT Tiny 85 somewhere. Here they are. Let's see if this is going to work on the camera. 
So, on your right is the standard 8-pin, eight, 8-dip, eight 80-tiny, eight 85 chip. And on the left is its SOP8 counterpart, which gets uh, SMD surface mount onto a circuit board. So it's a lot smaller. You can get make smaller devices, save room, save on your circuit board costs. But as you can imagine, my giant fingers, it's very difficult to mess with. So let's see if these are going to work. I never tried this. I think the idea is you spring load this. No. <coughs> okay, I can't fathom out how it works yet. I think I need some tweezers and a bit of time. But it would go in there and you would put it in your breadboard and you would program it and then hey presto, it pops out. Ready to be soldered. Leaves that forever. And that is the post bag for this week. Uh, as normal, if you like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And don't forget to tick that bell so you get notified when you get even more of these awesome videos. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much.